I put a poll on YouTube the other day to see uh, if people would like my collection videoed while I cleaned all the cases and cleaned the shelves and and so on and 80% said yes yeah, so I'm gonna uh, give you the gander of them all it's gonna be a long video like first up is the suits the mission Alan suit is a nice dart these never Never really threw them like, but they are the nice, the nice darts. And how can you not like suited, to be honest? I'll wipe them all over at the end. Oh, come on. And there's not going to be in any particular order, really. There's some in cases I'm not going to take out. These are a signed, signed set of shot. Devon Peterson, the greatness. I'm not going to take them out though, there's no point. There's only two I haven't got. Probably, well, there's a few, there's the unicorn ones, but I like to keep the unicorn ones in. These are Martin Clearmaker, Clearmaker, the Dutch Giant. These were his edition twos. Lovely darts, but I'm sure he's taking a break from darts at the minute. Oh, edition one, yeah, got that wrong. These other ones were from Bulls Germany, weren't they? These are Bulls and L. So, there's three. Uh, there's these cases. These are both Mensa Sulevich's. You can see them inside, but I can't open the cases. I've had to glue them because me kids had knocked them off the shelves and the tops came off so I glued them I'm never going to use them so they're glued in there at the minute so I can't get them out and they're all black and they're the ones with the bit of black and silver in uh, just do these ones because these are in cases as well but these are alright when I open it there. just get one out these are the Jack Mains. Now he doesn't have a tour card anymore. But I got them when he did have a tour card. Put the spinny Cosmo flights on. But yeah, I hope to see him with a tour card again in the future. Also, this player doesn't have a tour card any longer. And this is Darius Slabanowskis. See him again with a spinny tops but yeah got the Lith Lithuania colours but yeah I've got quite a few I haven't got tour cards anymore but obviously I keep the darts I did buy them when they did have a tour card that's the whole point of my collection they have to have a tour card for me to buy them they've got a bit of damage on the top of that case as well you see the kids slamming the doors and that came off the shelves, little buggers. That one's all right though. These are the ones where I haven't got many, I haven't got many darts in, in that type of collection. Uh, there's not many sets I've got of that brand. So I'm just whizzing through these ones. These ones are the Joses, Trinidad, Trinidad Jose, I think these are the Series 3, or Edition 3, I don't know what, how Trinidad wear it. You have the Gen 1s, the Gen 2s, Editions. I think these are the third ones with the Condor Flights stem system. Do some serious editing on this to try and get the video down like these ones are the Polish Eagle Ratajski Bulls 
uh, Bulls Germany, these aren't that. Yeah, there's the logo. Bulls Germany, Rotaiskis. Uh, I couldn't tell you what weight they all are, but if I can get 22 gram, it's usually 22 gram, uh, 23. I think my riding sells over 32 gram, but mainly I'll go for 20, 22. Right, I like the packaging in these. I like this packaging, so I don't, I don't get cases for them. But there are these phase sixes. Lovely dart, these. Gorgeous to throw. I do want his, uh, his noir version. A little bit pricey, aren't it? And then again, that's never stopped me before, but... My daughter's birthday coming up and she's cost me an arm and a leg. I'm going to clean them all down and give them a rub over with a damp cloth after I've done this, otherwise it'll be even longer. Right. Shot, bully boy. I think these are the achieves, the ones he actually uses. I think I'm only going to get one out again. I don't want to. I think I did a video like this last time. And I didn't have nowhere near me, as many sets. And that was over half an hour. So this one could be an hour. And it knacks my back as I'm bending down. Slightly. Uh, you can see the dust on the top of some of them, man. See with them sat on shelves, they just get filthy. These are oh, his name's just totally gone from me. Oh, what's he called again? What is he? I can't remember what he's called. Adam Gavlas. They're the Gavlas edition ones from Bulls NL Bulls Netherlands. Lovely little coffin case, so. <sighs> next, next, next. These aren't even in a thingy, so. They're just in a little stand. They haven't got a case for this one yet. These are the dimmies. Uh, these were the second ones that got brought out. He obviously didn't like the nose on the first ones, so they changed it to more like his unicorn version. Well, yep, yeah, they're the dimmies. Do need a case for them. Right. The Erasmus, when he was with Unicorn, he's gone to mission now. I'm not sure when them ones will be coming out, but these are nice. These. These are I know these are 25 gram. These are the ones with his Latvia colours on. The first set he ever brought out didn't have them on. But these are a nice... A nice set. Here's the others. Honestly, you wouldn't believe how long it takes to do all this. Especially when you have, it's time to clean the bloody cases and the shelves. Because they do get dusty when being in the kitchen. The kids playing out the back and I'm leaving the door open. Nightmare. Right, let's pull a windmill one out. Windmill. So I'm not going to get them out. You can basically have a look. You've got Simon Whitlock, Well Cups, and oh, William O'Connor. I think these were his Gen Ones. Got another. I think he brought these out on his own accord. Like they went from a company, but then he signed with Windmill, which released these second set of darts and they actually start selling these off for him he must have had a lot left in uh, do you know what the words are eluding me today he must have had a lot of stock left himself so when Mao did sell them for them and i grabbed the a set i think they're only about 19 quid or something but they are nice darts 
I am going to scratch the surface yet. Uh, trying to mix them up and not do all one one brand because you'd be here all day with red dragons. These are the the Luke Woodhouse. These are nice to throw as well. They are a nice balanced dart. Uh, which way is it going? That way. I'd actually pay someone to come and do all this for me because it does my head in. I should be happy to take pictures of them all after to update you. Your collection. Uh, let's go over this one. A red dragon. These are Clayton Gold. Just my style with a bit of a tapered nose. Nice looking set of darts. I think all gold darts are a lovely looking dart, but that's these. Uh, where's the logo? There it is. Sneaking round. But these are nice darts. Good cases, these as well. The tour cases. Push that down there a bit. Dart starts in a bit as well. I'm going to end up missing the start of it. Two sets in here. Oh, James Wade case, beautiful case that. And then you've got his. Oh, yeah, look at his OGs. See if I can get that back in there. I don't, I don't like these points at all. These are not nice points. So bloody flimsy. Ah, go away. So there's his OGs, what he actually uses. And these ones are his two tones. These are gorgeous, these ones I really do like and probably one of my favourite sets in the collection. Should have took them all out the cases first, shouldn't it? It'd have been a lot quicker. This will be an editing this to try and get this back in. Unless I can get it in quick. Come on. Oh, there we go. It's in. I start, started becoming a fan of James Wade. I do like him. Good player. I like his social media as well. How... Oh, the time, a lot of time he spends with his kids and stuff. He's a he's a good family man, a role model. These are Andor's unicorn. I'm going with this. There's some much used flights up there, and these are his Code Noirs. MVG exact, 21 and a half gram. There's no point in me getting them out, you can... Come on, there. MVG exacts, with his case, I've only got one set of MVGs. Oh, there's loads on this side as well, I forgot about that. These are, this is not something I normally do. I've got these new Harrow's ones in with a Loxley case just because it's double, it's a double case. So, 
So there we have them. The lock sleep and arrows. Come on down a sec. Thirty two grammar and this is also a thirty two grammar. I think I prefer these ones to be honest though. Right. Uh, Soft the sponge in there to come back in. Uh, dee 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 dee. Right. The Nux target case, and they've got the Dobies, the target Dobies Gen One. Two sets of these. I think these are 22 gram. Again, he's lighting the uh, symbol. Getting all three out, I'd have been here all day. Championship Loot Unfreeze Edition TX Force, The Avengers. Nice set of darts again. I'd be surprised though, at least two a case again. How long has the video been going already? 17 minutes. <laughs> and I'm. And I'm I'm not even, I wouldn't even, not even halfway through. I'd say just over a quarter. These are the high bricks. Gorgeous these. I really do like them. He has got another set out now where the black is, it's black, but where the red is, it's gold. They're absolutely gorgeous. There's his uh, Hurricane trademark there. These are bulls. An elegant, good cases these as well. They're only about eight quid, these cases. Beauties, I've got a few of them. My rug's almost full. The windmouse stealth case. And I think it's a rock star inside, is it? Aye. Cullen's darts, my rock star, they're the darts he uses. <clears throat> uh, get this big case out of here. These are the yellow class and noirs. Bought them off a friend a week or two ago. Check see if he had a tour card. And when I seen he had a tour card, I bought them. They're supposed to be, I think, well, supposed to be over a hundred quid. I think I paid forty for them. I haven't got many sets of second hand darts. I'd say four. I don't think he's with Unicorn now, though. I think he's gone to. Pentathlon or something like that. Not sure. Oh. It's a hefty bloody box though. How bloody thick it is. <laughs> Massive. 
Uh, target again. These are the RVB Echoes. These are nice. I like the nail bit on there. So that's what uh, Dimmy had on his other darts. I have got Dimmy's other darts actually. So I can show you on there, but that's what he had on his first set before the ones, the other ones got made to be more like his unicorn set. But yeah, they're the Echoes. And these are an expensive set of darts as well, but I got them on sale at Double Top Darts. I think I only paid about 50 quid for them in the end. Red Dragon. These are the price. Uh, oh, do you know what? I've actually forgot what they are. Thunders. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. But they are nice. They with the gold on instead of the blue. They are nice darts. Whitlocks, I'm not going to get him out. He's plighted up there, but I'm not going to get him out. I used to use these stems when I first ever started. Now it's too long for me now. Like a little, like a little bass, bear beat speaker, aren't they? <laughs> I think they're called the Urban Case. Yeah, might as well do the urban cases anyway. There's a second urban case. They've got. Oh, do you know what? I just can't think of the Mervyn King. I'm struggling to think of the players. They're Mervs. And there's his flights up there. And the last big case. I'll have a guess what's in here. I'll go Jeff Smith when he was with. Windmill. Am I right? I am. And there's his flights up there. He's got my Cosmo now. Jeff. I bought these when he had a tour card. Got the mummy nose a second. Uh... Oh, I don't want anything. A double case unicorn. You've got. I got these from my gosh ages ago. My, I ordered a set, of, a couple of sets of darts from. I think it was Perfect Darts back then, and they hadn't came on the Saturday, and I was a bit gutted. I wanted a new set, so I went to Argos and bought these. I think they were about forty quid, but I can't remember if they're the. The. What do they call it? I get mixed up with the gens and the series and everything, but I think these might be the threes. Phase three. Ah, come on. A bloody nightmare, man. So I'm trying to rush it a bit. This is all this too much of the darts. It starts in 20 minutes. In Hilda's home. I might go back in there. Good boy. Like I say, oh. All these are still brand new. I've done little reviews with a, a few sets and that, but they're all brand new. These duos, these are nice seas. Big fan of Gary's darts. Must be one of the most well-liked and well-respected player in the world. I'm gonna enjoy putting them all back on the shelves. Some of them are hard to stand on top of each other and that. We, now we've got the asp <clears throat> in his own case and his eyes gen twos <laughs> these are nice plays a lot he's been playing a lot better with these as well they are nice beautiful darts i like the little s bit of a snake here going down with its tongue out 
and I use Swiss points myself now. I wasn't a fan of them, but Swiss points with <clears throat> K Flex. I need some more sets of K Flex, so I've buckled that a bit there, haven't I? So that's the Aspergen. Ooh, the floor's looking full after which way I'm stepping. Right, I'll go back to. Red Dragon Monza case. I think I only need the blue one with the butterflies now, and I've got them all. And these are, I'll take a guess, Super Venoms. And they are the Super Venoms. I had a set of these to play with as well, I just, I didn't get along with them. Too, too long for me. Plus the dad, I, this was crippling me back then. But these are, these are nice seas, these are lovely. I think, I think they might be the second or third most expensive set I've got. Yeah, is anyone keeping count? Because I'm certainly not. And we're over 20 minutes already, and I'm trying my hardest to get through them fast. These could be the Hetters Gen 1. Well, he's black version. Het has got one of the most simplest looking darts, but one of the most effective looking darts. And Harrow's have done very well with these. I give a couple of them cases away on uh, social media. Right. Back to Unicorn, he's a nice solid case. It's a limited edition, not a launch edition. Book of Darts 2020. So I've had this case for, oh yeah. One of the first ones I got was the dimmies inside them or something. Not even white. And they've got match used flights on, that's why they're a bit beat up. I, I must have. Are they in here or they used them or something? Oh no. Oh, there's a set of. They're match used as well. The dimmies did used to be in here. What's that? off there, don't know. But yeah, Ian White, I know he's got another set out and another set out with Unicorn now, but I haven't got them yet. I do like Ian White, he's a funny bloke. I'll keep them dimmy flights out and put them in his case. Uh, might as well do the, the last wind mouth right next to me. Look at the dust on it. Do you know what I mean? I get filthy. That's why I put them in cases in the first place. But these are these special editions. Cullen special editions. These are nice. A really nice set of arrows. I could potentially use a set like this with it having a bit of a tapered nose. Then again, I haven't been using tapered noses lately. I've got two sets of new darts that I've been using. What well, I've both got a bull nose on them. Albeit they don't go as well as my PL 15s. They're still nice, Jesus. I've still got loads of red dragons to go through. I put them over there. I'll do a few red dragons now just to get the numbers down a bit. These are Clayton's Premier League ones, are they? No, they're not his Premier League ones. I don't think I have his Premier League ones. I think the only set I haven't got of these are these new ones. Well, that's Red Dragon and Clayton's. I'll have to spin the camera around when I'm done and just show you everything all over the bloody floor. I think these are the Dirk Van Dyven borders on my right. Dee -dee 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 -dee. Yeah. The first ones he brought out and the ones he still uses. So 
There's a bit of a glow coming through the blinds. I've closed them in the kitchen, but there's still a little bit of light coming through. Ah, come on. I think if anyone likes these cases, I think they're called an EVA case. They are nice and like I say, for I think seven or eight quid or something. It's got a bit of damage on that, like I expect it though. Can't keep over 80 sets bloody in brand new condition. Right, I'll go deep for balls as well, and then we've only got unicorn, arrows, red dragon, and target to go through. And these are uh, Max Ops. I can't remember if they were called something like 5.0 or something. But these were expensive when I first got them. When I first started collecting, I'd won a, a match worn world championship Max Ops shirt. Uh, signed, match worn. Yeah, he'd lost to Mervyn King, I think it was in 22. It was the year Price won it, I think. 2020, 20, 2021. Is it the year? Oh, I can't remember. He got beat by Mervyn King anyway in the second round, I think it was. But I got these because I was going to get them put in with the shirt, but I ended up giving the shirt away as a gift to someone. And I kept these. EVA case again. Let me see a bit of, bit of damage to the cases where they fell in that. The twins have battered a few of my cases over the over the year or two, for eight, two minutes. So already we're next to the last video I did, so that's how many more sets I've bought. The Iceman one's a case. These are these OGs, but these do have matched used stems and flights. Everyone's seen these. These are iconic to Gail and Price. I'm gonna, if he's playing in the air, I haven't looked at the draw for the first round in Hildeheim yet, so if he's playing, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tip him to win it. Lovely case. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Oh, I can't even. The, the red dragons are just stacked. They're obviously, my favourite brand, so I've got loads of them. These are Callan Ritz, are they? Yep. Yeah. He's Gen 1s. He has brought some more out since. These fly gorgeous, these. These really do fly nice. A lovely little set of darts. Like I said, I really, really dislike. These stems are the garbage. I do look at unicorn darts as more simple and a bit more uh, retro compared to the to the other brands. I like to keep it simple, simple but solid, and it does work for them. Cheesy. Coming away there, looks a bit, doesn't it? It's what's inside that's important, to be honest. Two sets in here. So, I've got these. Ones he was using before. And these beauties came out. Let's have a look side by side. Whoop, knocked the camera. Same really, I know different colours, but it's got a straight bit here where you didn't have it on there, you had it up there, and it's got a bit more back grip on there. But both really, really nice sets of darts. Cheesy, I pray he wins a major this year because he's a quality player. Let me spin that round a bit. I've replaced some air. Uh, points as well in some of my darts I replaced them after they'd been did I show that one properly there after they've done a little review on them there were some of them scratched and that so I have replaced them Like you 
this is unicorn again, and I think this is the the dimmies, the dimmy ones. No, they're not. Them ones aren't match used. It's them ones that are what's on it. They're match used. Stems and flights. I bought five sets of match used stems and flights. Some came with stems, some didn't. But yeah, they're the dimmies. Everyone liked them, didn't they? Beauties. See, I've never flown. Uh, I'll just put them under there. Nice solid cases, the unicorns. Oh, my back's quick on me. Right, and we'll go from, from dimmy to dimmy. See, these are these ones he brought out first. And it's got this bit, oh, that looks a little bit in there. A little bit damaged or something. Never ever used these and I brought them brand new. I'll stick it there in a sec. Let's have a look at There you can see the actually the same that's a bit different these I can have a closer look yeah and there's the ring the smaller ring grips in there the micro rings are a bit deeper than that side and obviously you've got the bone nozzle grip on but otherwise they're quite similar but yeah that's the Denise that one back over there I'll have to get a case on first First, I that. I'm looking over the camera, so it's not the bloody easiest. It's on a big stand. Dimmy. Dimmy, 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 dimmy. Right. Let's have a look what's in this little one. I think that could be Jean Van Veen's. Uh, first set, what was brought out the air. Uh, and they haven't got the flights in on now, you can't put the flights in in these, so... Yeah, these are Van Veen's. Gonna be some player when he's older than him. Gets a bit of experience under his belt. He's a great player, doesn't have throw a flat dart, like... He points as long as anything. I'm gonna lose a long bit, he's all... Luke Littler's. Cause I think Luke Littler shot above 50 more flight, doesn't he? Right, back to Harrow's. Demo, lovely case again. Very fair company, Harrow's. Quality darts. These are nice, they're silica things, flights. You can feel the detail in it, but these are these, uh, these newest. He's got three sets out, his other sets there, but he had the... Uh, the silver ones and then the black ones came out but they were both still classed as gen ones and these are his gen twos virtually the same but obviously with pvd paint them and these are the ones he first ever used these are also much used flights not stems just flights uh, I'm sorry if anyone's uh, can hear me breathing loud or out like that, but I'm literally hanging over the camera. God, we're at 40 minutes. Oh, still got quite a few to go through, so I'm to be honest. Snake bite. These are ease. I'll take this one out a bit easier. He's. Rainbow elements with a shine on them, they glisten. Especially when you get to this purple bit here, that bit. The green, the blue and the purple, the pink. Just flies off it. These are nice dirt. I don't, I don't, I'd like to actually buy, buy another set and use them as game darts to see how I was with them because I never, I've never used any. 
in these cases, I'll just start just chopping them on the side. You won't chop them, but putting them on the side. I have got the most sets of snake bites, by the way, so you will notice these are these World Championship. They look mint down though with them stems on. Uh, them stems and flights on. The gold. Another iconic set of darts. When, when you see them, you just snake bites up. That is snake bites. I'm trying to worry up a bit now. Sorry if you just can't sit for how long it's going to be. I said about an hour. And then I've still got to snake bite again. I've still got to put them right back on the shelves and dust them all down and that. All right, so these are his PC20 Gold Element Special Editions. They're the gold version. Beautiful. They're, they're literally the two pretty, the two pretty to throw on. They really. Come on. Turn out. And then you've got. I think I prefer the black ones, to be honest. I really like the colour. It's like a matte black. They don't they don't sparkle as much as the other the other ones, the rainbow ones are then gold special edition. These are the black special editions. They both came out at the same time. And I got them straight away. Rubber dark with the with the diamond fusion element on. Right, I'll go back over here. Get a couple of sets of target. I think target's probably the second most I've got them all unicorn. Gabrielle Clements, Gen 1. Then I know points. A nice set of darts and they're kind of futuristic when you get to the point. It's a grip and net nano grip. These have been. Just need a bit there as well. I don't know what that's off. I wish if I could do it all again and go back, I wish I kept all the packaging and didn't put them in cases and stuck them like hooks on the wall and had them all hooked onto the wall in the original packaging. Rod cross. Gen 2s. Some of the flights and the stems look a bit mucky as well. These Gen 2s. I love the green in it. It's a nice colour. Gold points. Okay. <clears throat> right. I'm not going to be taking these out because these are triple stacked cases, so they're going to have three sets in. What have we got here? We've got Clayton Onyx and the, the Clayton Elements in the front. And then in the back, if I can get the weight. What's in the back? He's well cup set. Clayton World Cup. Big heavy bit of damage on there as well. It came like that though. They did send me another one. Which had exactly the same problem. Right, put them ones to the side. These are Peter Wright. You've got these. PL15s in blue and his Medusas, which are basically the RPL15s, just with a different colour. I've also got, whoop, hit the camera again, his normal version, which you've got Yellow Clarsons, Elstel set up on. But yeah, I'll show you the ones I actually use at the end. But that's the front. Does anyone want to go through Google and check how much everything is? And there he's snake bite ones. Oh. <laughs> this is what got me collecting these 
this set actually got me collecting. I started I started using them and I just thought I can't. My OCD's not letting me throw them. They're just too too nice to throw. Alright, a few more sets of towels. These ones are does a even though he's not on the two or no more, he was when I got him. Plus, I'm a butter boy myself. I'm from Middlesbrough. I wouldn't get rid of him. I get on well with his family. I know his nephew, Jamie. Some of his other family members from Grangetown when I lived there. Jamie's a good darts player. I'd love to see him on the circuit one day. He's definitely got the potential. Really good. Shaggy wasn't me. Uh, do you know what? I've actually forgot his name. I know Williams. I just can't think of his first name. Scott. Scott. Scott F. All to do with you. Scott Williams. Nice dad. Um, I like Scott Williams. The confidence in him. The way he struts around the stage. Quality. This is another triple caser. Snake by double world champion. Case out in the front. We have his copper fusions and his rainbow members. And in the back, I reckon I'll just be the normal tungsten Euro 11s and the art. He has been using these only a bit lately. A carbon copy of MVGs. Oh, I've got another unicorn set here, actually, I haven't done. Michael Smith's World Championship Edition. Put the star on from when he won it. Nice start. 21 grams. Okay, this is a bit thingy. That was my twins pulling the darts off the, the shelves. Right, so I've got them to do. And two more targets to do. The first target, Aspinall Gen 1. These old faithfuls. I think everyone had a set of these when they came out, didn't they? I used to love them. Three sets I've had up an hour of these. Oh, well, that's his favourite dark player, Aspinall. <laughs> You'd think man would be Pete right, wouldn't you? But it's game on price. I like this case. Nice and simple design. It's got a nice feel to it. Very dusty. Is this a double case as well? No, it's got... Gerwin Price's 50th anniversary Lunar Darts. I bet there's not many people with these type of Lunas. I did have Peter Wright as well, he's Lunar set, but I did sell them onto someone who actually couldn't get hold of them. And he used them as match darts. And I just sold them in for the price I paid for them because I'm nice like that. Snake bite. God, we're at 50 minutes. Jesus. These are his OG PC20 gold ones. The difference in colour. The 20 gram is them. When they first came out, they, they only made them at 20 gram. And I ordered, pre ordered them as well. see the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sets left. The world champ and world number one. Look at the dust on that. No. Oh, the darts have started as well. Blue and yellow for Leeds United, who I did used to play for when I was a kid. Leeds United Academy, Weatherby. But these have got in. 
the ones he uses, his TX ones. Looks like a is that a chip? Let me have a look more. No, I just think it's a bit of tungsten stuck in there. And when it's been machined, it's definitely not a chip. But I, Luke Humphreys, he's mopping everything up. Buzzing price one at the weekend though. Been a long time coming. Sets. I know to win Maui could have Red Dragon in though, and it has Scott Price is in. Do you know I can't even remember what these ones are called? I can't remember what them ones are called to be honest. But both lovely sets. I bought all I bought loads of these when I first started collecting and these are prices. Again these well cut ones and oh, what were these? Fire. Fire ones. I can't remember. Not that many to remember. But yeah, I did buy quite a few windmill double cases and so with Windmill and Red Dragon being sister companies, I do just put Red Dragon in. But in the end, they will get filled with Windmill. Uh, they will get, yeah, they will, yeah, yeah, I'm right there. They will get filled with Windmill. Red Dragon again. And these have prices. Ionix and. What are these? What are these ones called again? Can't remember. <laughs> I really can't remember. I should have maybe looked them up before I was thingy in because I forgot what most of them are called. Not that many. These could be the Thunders actually. But yeah, I know they're the Ionics. And finally, well, it won't be finally because I've got some sets that I play with, but finally, it's the Nuke. And I don't have to take these out because I have a set right here. And I've started playing with them. I've started using these ones. And they're nice to throw. Change the yellow for the black, like. But yeah, so I throw them ones. They're all brand new still. And I got, so I bought these the other day. I've used these for, I'd say, these PL15s, Red Dragon Peter Wright PL15s for at least three years. I've got the Johnny Clayton OGs, but they were soft tip. I've put some nano points in, uh, Swiss nano points in from Target. And I do use them now and again. I think they're 20, 23, 22, 22. And I think these Dobies. So I've got two sets of the Dobies, two sets of the, thing, the Littlers. And these are really nice to throw as well. But that is it. That is it and it has taken 54 minutes to go through it all and now I can show you some of the damage there's a load on there and a load down there but I appreciate you watching if some if people did stay whoop, if people did stay for the 55 or so minutes and uh, I'll get back onto the review soon. So I will catch you later. Goodbye.